gentlemen. The next presenter here tonight, Gene McGinnis from the Magic Club. Thank you. Thank you for uh, inviting me tonight. Thank you for inviting me tonight. And here's a little video. Looks like it's going to work. Alrighty. Magic Way, and what it's about is, um, the reason I invented it was one night I was in the kitchen and I was looking for something in the drawers and there was just too much clutter. And one time I'd see my wife not show visible frustration, but she was frustrated too, and she was draining a pot with a big fat knife. And I thought, boy, I, I really like knives, a lot of people have knives, and I want to invent something for the masses, a kitchen product. And so I came up with this, and after about 12 prototypes and buying steel and grinding it and shaping it, I invented the Magic Blade. And that's it. It's uh, pretty cool. What it does, it really strains well. It holds the pot, and then the, the holes a second, also, of course, used to grate cheese, carrots, whatever you want. So uh, you can make hash browns with just one tool. You take that, you know, potato and you and slice it, grate it, put it in a pot, cook it, and strain it, you know, wash off the whatever it is on there, mm -hmm. and you got a lot of things, just makes it a lot more comfortable and easy to do in a kitchen. And I know it doesn't solve the world's problems, but it sure is a cool little product, and it works, and I know it sells day in and day out off the shelves. Um, it's simple, it's easy, it's got patent pending on it, and it made a great video. <laughs> and he did that, and I could, I could demonstrate it, but we don't have a table here that works really well, and it's pretty darn powerful. You could actually chop a tree with this. <laughs> Great camping. If you don't want to, if you go camping, and you don't want to take too much stuff with you. He brings the magic blade. It does a lot. Uh, this could retail easy for $19.99, with uh, cost about three dollars to make. Uh, people pay hundreds of dollars for knives and knife sets. This, this can be made of a quality of uh, stainless steel. It's been tested, it's been proven, it's, we use it. It works real well. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Yes? Uh, first thing, is the, two questions, is the blade sharpenable or is it serrated? Oh, this is a very sharp blade. It's not it's serrated. Sharpenable, so you can... Yes, you, you can, can sharpen this. Sharpen. Yes. Are you in production now? No, I'm not in production. I'm, I want to license it. Yes. This is not for left hand right. Hand. Uh, yes, it, this it, makes it, sure you can do left hand or right hand because that's how you're going to hold a pot so it won't slip off a pot or a pan or a saucepan when you're straining something or draining something. So there's one of these little tabs on each side, so left hand or right hand. Any other questions? Yes? How about for cleaning it after now? Is it two parts, three parts, how many parts is there? Uh, it's all one part. It doesn't come apart. It cleans real easy with a sponge and it cleans away from you so you don't touch yourself. It's pretty darn safe. In the video, that guy's a sushi chef that I hired special to do that to make it look super easy. <laughs> it didn't need to though. This gives you that shape so you get that rocker chopping shape that people really like. Yes. And um, my wife says, it's the best one yet. I said, no, don't you like the jet engine? She says, no. But, but. The last question was, was, does that center part come out? Did the grain part switch out? For no, it years? doesn't. But in the patent, I did put in that it could come out, and then you could do this and uh, make potato chips or french fries with a different insert. One more question. There he is. 
Oh man, I suggest you put a bottle opener on top. <laughs> <laughs> and sunglasses. Yeah, I like the sunglasses a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That just proves you're an alcoholic, but <laughs> I want a wine opener on my sunglasses. <laughs> All right. Anything else? <laughs>